So this is today's agenda. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about uh, our centers of innovation and excellence in Astera cell therapy. Then I'm going to share with you uh, our strategy pipeline and uh, capabilities, which is followed by an uh, introduction of our lead program, ASP 7317, and summary. So basically, our business focus is pluripotent stem cell derived allogeneic cell product. In 2016, we acquired former Okata uh, to obtain cell, stem cell science and technology, and also to acquire the uh, GMP manufacturing know-how and trial operational knowledge and experience, especially in ophthalmology space. Right after acquisition, we had only 30 employees, but now we have more than 160 employees in arm. 2018, we acquired uh, Universal Cells Inc. To, to obtain their gene editing technology using, using a recombinant AAV and also so-called uh, Universal Donor Cell Technology. Now more than 50 employees are working in Seattle. We have satellite office in Tsukuba to cover collaboration in Japan. So in total, more than 220 employees are dedicated to cell therapy in Astias. And the new facility, uh, uh, ARM uh, R&D CMC complex, is under construction in Massachusetts to reinforce GMP manufacturing capabilities and capacity. This facility can cover initial commercial product uh, supply, and total floor area is more than 250,000 square feet. We'll have seven GMP clean rooms plus future expansion space in this new facility. Construction to be completed in January 2020. Uh, we uh, uh, announced uh, uh, this new project with Labo Central this week. This is Labo Central third faci uh, incubation facility in Cambridge, focusing on cell and gene therapy. Asteras will support this project as founding sponsor. And keyword of this project is support biomanufacturing. This new incubation facility uh, to be designed to educate startup companies on GMP and prepare them for manufacturing their in innovations. Asteras will offer uh, startup companies uh, access to executives and know-how mentoring on manufacturing, regulatory affairs, commercialization, etc. Expected opening is 2021. So here uh, I'm going to uh, share our strategy, which consists of three waves. First wave product is, in short, a modified, non-engineered cell product. In this category, uh, we have placed our initial focus on ophthalmology area. Because eye is small organ and immunoprivileged and easy to access. Second wave product is universal donor cell derived uh, peripheral cell type. We uh, eliminate uh, HLA antigen 1 and 2 with our gene editing technology from the cell surface to avoid immune rejection. And at the same time, we knock in uh, HLA-E antigen to avoid attacking from natural killer cell. Anyway, we think uh, UDC technology is essential for successful engraftment to peripheral organs. Third way program is a uh, more engineered one to enhance efficacy, to reduce cost of, cost of goods, to enhance homing to target organs, and secure further safety. This is a, a snapshot of our pipeline. Again, our business focus is pluripotent stem cell derived cell product. We have more than 10 programs in Asteras. Lead program is retinal pigment epithelium, RPE. Currently, phase 1b2 study is ongoing in dry AMD patients which is followed by three ocular programs, photoreceptor progenitor, retinal ganglion progenitor, and corneal endothelium. 
and we are expanding our therapeutic area scope to peripheral indications. HMC is hemangioblast-derived mesenchymal stem cell. We think this cell type can be applied to various autoimmune diseases. This program is approaching IND now. Vascular progenitors, uh, this is, we think, applicable to some cardiovascular indications, including a CLI and pulmonary hypertension. In Seattle, our colleague uh, Universal Cells Inc., they are very actively working on application of cell therapy to oncology and immunology, including the engineered uh, NK uh, cell, product, cell program. So we think a PSC-derived allogeneic cells uh, have large potential opportunity, but for commercialization, there are several challenges. This cartoon shows the uh, value chain from donor to commercialization. But we identified in this value chain five key challenges for industri industrialization. First is uh, uh, to secure the safe and globally compliant pluripotent stem cell and to avoid immune rejection. Development of differentiation protocols GMP cell manufacturing, including infrastructure, and efficient logistics. This table summarizes our achievement to date. There are a lot of capabilities needed for cell therapy product development throughout value chain, research manufacturing, supply chain, development, and commercialization including the key capabilities to address five key five important challenges we identified. Green signal indicate we are established internally, and yellow is underway, and red means uh, not established in Asteras. As you can see, uh, after Okata acquisition, some capabilities at upstream in value chain turned into green, as you can see, there are, mother, uh, there are some yellow and red signals. The purpose to acquire UDC universal cell is to acquire UDC technology and gene editing technology. And now we think we almost filled major technological capability gaps in this value chain. And we would be very happy to share, provide our capability to startup companies, as I mentioned, and also we would also, we would have very happy to share our capability with our collaborators. We think future challenges is uh, uh, establishment of ecosystem for commercialization and also the sustainable business model. So lastly, uh, I'm gonna talk about, uh, about uh, 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 our lead program, ASP7317, which is being developed in dry AMD patients. AMD is a leading cause of visual disability in advanced countries. There are more than 37 million patients. AMD is a progressive degenerative disease affecting the central portion of the retina. That means the degeneration of RP and photoreceptors in the macula. This slide shows the results of uh, a phase one, two study uh, conducted by uh, former Okata using a former cell line, ES cell line, m 9 derived RP cell in dry MD patients. Figures shows the mean changes in best corrected visual acuity in the three years after transplantation in low vision group. As you can see, uh, uh, treated eye uh, showing red, red line, uh, treated eye uh, uh, showed that, uh, uh, was improved at the, uh, one month after transplantation, which is followed by the gradual loss. However, after three years, uh, uh, visual acuity of treated eye still better than the baseline level. So the, after acquisition of Okata, we decided to change our cell line and drug product formulation. Advantages of new cell line and formulation is 
New Zealand is compliant with the regulations, guidelines in each region, US, Japan, EU. And the larger cell bank, which ensures a stable future global supply. And we changed the DP composition because uh, shelf life in, in the previous formulation was only four hours. So we decided to change the DP composition and shelf life was extended to several days from four hours. That solved multiple program, problems on logistics. For instance, guarantee of DP quality through centralization of preparation site, and also the uh, redu reduction of burden on hospital site, etc. So now a uh, uh, new phase one B2 study is ongoing, ongoing with new cell line and new DP formulation. So summary, uh, uh, three sites in US and Japan uh, collaborating with internal and external uh, stakeholders. And we have expanding pipeline led by SP7317. And I shared our three wave strategy today and we overcame multiple technological challenges by leveraging acquisition effectively. And future challenges for industrialization, we think is a, a establishment of ecosystem and creation of business model. SP7317, phase 1B2 study with new cellular line and new formulation is now ongoing in dry MD patients. Thank you very much for your attention.